Hi, I'm Eric Johnson from the Owen Graduate School of Management. I'm here today with Keith Wandell. Keith is the CEO of Harley Davidson, and it's really exciting to have you here today, Keith. Well, thanks for having me. Appreciate it. So when you think about Harley, you just think about this iconic brand. It uh, is such a, uh, a piece of American fabric and, and, and so important in the, in the, in the minds of uh, uh, enthusiasts. How do you keep that brand fresh? Well, that's always the, that's the $64,000 question. I think it's, I think it's um, really respecting the heritage of the brand, right? And everything that it has stood for for the last 111 years now, but then always trying to recognize, you know, what are the things that are gonna get in our way in the future as the world changes? And that's the, the, the process of communicating that, making that part of our strategic plan, and weaving it into that fabric, I think is what's important. That's neat. So you came from Johnson Controls, and that was an interesting, uh, you know, set of companies, both industrial, but pretty different. What was that transition like for you? And well, I didn't have to wear a suit and tie anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I could wear blue jeans and a t-shirt to work if I wanted. That was one thing. Um, I, I think it was really, you know, Johnson Controls was more a B2B type company. And uh, the whole, as you mentioned already, this whole iconic brand and, 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 and what it meant to the customer, that was really new and unique. Yeah. So suddenly it was kind of this consumer focus versus, right, right. you know, really... Yep. As you said, B two B. People know about Johnson Controls, but uh, not in the same way that we think right, about Harley. Right. So, how is leadership different in those two things, or what have you learned about leadership well, over your career? Yeah, I don't think there's really any difference, right? In in leadership, I don't think there's any difference if you're in government, or if you're in hospital administration, or if you're in business, or in in education. I mean, leadership is all about, in my opinion, leading from the front. It's about you know, making sure that, that the organization understands the values and what those leadership behaviors, uh, the expectations are, and making sure that you have uh, processes in place to um, hold yourself and for all of us to hold each other accountable in the organization uh, to those leadership behaviors. And now there's these exciting new things on the horizon, electric bikes and <laughs> uh, always, always change. What, right. What does that mean for Harley? Well, I think it means that there are new opportunities for us. It's not just the electrification, it's the globalization, it's the emerging markets, it's um, the fact that today, you know, is the first generation of what we call urban riders, uh, people who, you know, are, are more centered in urban areas. They need, you know, smaller, more nimble, agile type products. The street bikes is an example that we recently launched, um, Livewire, those kinds of things. So I think it's nothing but future opportunity for us. Yeah. And Livewire has been an exciting launch for you this year? Well, you know, it has been. I mean, we haven't actually put that bike in production. Um, we're still gathering customer feedback. We've had a, about 30 of these bikes on tour throughout the United States, Canada, next year in Europe, making sure that we really, you know, hit the target in terms of what the consumer is looking for, and then possibly in a year, two, three, maybe launch that into the marketplace. Well, we're really excited to have you here today. Thanks so much for joining us. Well, thank you. Thanks for having me.